Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. Today, I want to do another healing conversation, okay? Um, this is going to be Exodus 18. I'm going to show you here. Exodus 18, okay? And we're going to start um, around verses number 10, okay? So, and Jethro said, Blessed be the Lord who have delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who have delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. For now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods, for in the thing wherein they dealt proudly, he was above them against him. Okay, and Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and sacrifice for God. Aaron came and all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' uh, father-in-law before God. Okay, now I want y'all to pay attention to this part, okay, because this is what I was kind of talking about with the healing conversation. Some things are too heavy for you, all right? And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning to the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou all thyself alone? And all the people stand by thee from morning unto evening. And Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, man and his neighbor. I do make them know the statutes of God, his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, The thing that thou doest is not good. Thou will surely wear away both thou and this people that is with thee, for this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken now unto my voice. I will give thee counsel. And God shall be with thee. Uh, be thou for the people God were, that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances. Okay? We're going to stop in a minute. <clears throat> and laws shall show them the way that wherein they must walk and work that they must do, right? And moreover, thou shalt provide out of the people uh, able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness, unjust gain, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands, hundreds, rulers of fifty, and rulers of ten. And let the people, let them judge the people at all seasons, and it shall be that every great matter they shall bring unto thee, but every small matter they shall judge, so shall it be easier for thyself. And they shall bear the burden with thee. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. So, I want y'all to pay attention to this, okay? This is the, um, the self-explaining Bible that I showed y'all the other day. Look at what 18 says. It is not wise, nor is it right for men to labor so much as to injure their health and shorten their lives, even for the purpose of doing good. But they should proportion their labors to their abilities most usefully to perform them. Okay? See, as men in particular, but I'm speaking to a lot of people, but especially for men, you never want to overextend yourself, okay? Some work is too heavy for you. And because of that, uh, you have to understand that the work has to be proportioned out. I see a lot of this in churches and even in the culture well, we teach this hustle culture, and I'm not saying that anything is wrong with it because it's not. But what I am saying is that there comes a time when the work is too heavy for you. It's too heavy. And so uh, what has to happen is um, 
it has to be given out to trustworthy people that they can continue to do the work of God and that the burden is shared with you and not just you by yourself. See, we live in this individualistic culture and the problem with the individualistic culture is that uh, it teaches us that we can do everything ourselves. But, you know, it says again here that the thing that he did was not good. Okay, and that he was surely we're away, both him and the people that's with him. So him, he alone was judging the people for everything. And as a result, that's not going to do anything but wear you out. So Jethro gave Moses sound advice. Now I'm giving this advice to you. Don't ever overextend yourself in a period of work where all you're going to do is end up wearing yourself out, okay? All right? If the work can be shared, share it. If the work is too much, at some point, you have to think about your health, okay? And this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel, signing off.